how is it going Samsung users Mr. Android here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Today we are taking a look at 6 amazing unknown hidden features that are available inside your Samsung phone. I am sure you are not going to find these underrated features anywhere else. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First, let me show you a very useful hidden feature that is available inside your Samsung Gallery app. If I go to Gallery and I want to lock a particular album, I just need to press and hold and then tap on these three dots. Here I get this brand new option called Lock Album. Now whenever I want to access that specific album, it asks me to scan my fingerprint. By default, Samsung doesn't give you this useful option where you can easily lock your private albums and if you really want to activate this hidden feature on your Samsung phone, all you have to do is just tap on these three dots, select settings, go inside about gallery and tap on this version number for multiple times. Now if you go back, you will have this brand new option called gallery labs. Simply go inside and enable this option that says album entry logs. Just a quick disclaimer that this feature only works in Samsung gallery so all your logged albums can still be viewed in other applications. The next feature I want to talk about is hidden inside your Samsung keyboard. Whenever you are using the Samsung keyboard, if you press and hold here, you get this option called extract text. What it does is, it opens up the camera by using which you can easily extract text from the document and it gets automatically pasted on this message box. As you can see, it instantly extracts the text and everything gets copied in real time. If you just want to copy a portion of the text, you need to tap on this text icon at the bottom and from here you can just select the portion that you would like to copy. I think it's an amazing feature that has been added in One UI 5.0 and it does save a lot of your time, especially when you want to copy text from the document. Definitely try this one out. Right now I'm getting a call on my phone and to answer or reject this call, I don't really have to touch my phone. Instead, what I can do is, I can use the voice command to accept or reject this call. I can simply say answer phone or even I can say answer phone in speaker and if you want to reject this call, I can say reject call. Not only this, it also works for your alarm and timer as well. Guys, you can activate these kind of voice commands using the Bixby and let me show you how you can do that. Just open the Bixby application that comes pre-installed in your Samsung phone. Here you will find this option called talk to Bixby without waking up. If it is disabled on your phone, then just go ahead and turn it on. For this feature to work, the language has to be in US English only, so you need to change the language preferences in the Bixby app. All you have to do is just change the language to US English and that's it. So now you can easily answer all your calls even without touching your phone. Next, let me show you how to add the current date and month information right here on the status bar. By default, it only shows the current time in the status bar but if you really want to add some more information, so you don't have to open the quick settings just to check what time it is. All you need to do is simply open the GoodLock application and here you need to install this module called QuickStar. Now go inside QuickStar, select clock settings and enable this option called show date. Not only this, if you want the quick panel to show the clock with seconds indicator, then you can enable that as well. Guys, by using this GoodLock module, you can easily add or remove icons on your status bar. Did you know you can set up a swipe gesture to open all your widgets in one place? Now you can keep your home screen clean and you don't have to add all those widgets onto your home screen. Instead what you can do is, you can install this module called One Hand Operations. Once you download, simply turn it on and then select from which handle you would like to access the widgets. Here you can select the gesture and from the list of all the actions, you need to select widgets pop-up. Now if you go back and swipe right, here you can touch and hold to add all your widgets. You get access to all the widgets that is on your phone and the best part is you can easily access them from anywhere on your screen. Finally, if you have the latest One UI 5.0 installed on your phone, then you get this maintenance mode and what it does is, let's say you have to give your phone to the service center or any local shop for repair and you really want to protect your data while someone else is using your phone, then you can activate this feature. It basically hide all your personal data including your photos, messages, apps and accounts. It only gives limited access with pre-installed applications. Now to turn off the maintenance mode, you will need to unlock your device using your fingerprint and everything will go back to normal. 
if you're really concerned about your privacy, then I think it's a very useful feature for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some highly underrated features that is available inside your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.